Thursday for the past two years, Ava Coulter and her mother travel from Alabama to Lurie Children's for Ava's clinical trial. The six-year-old has Marquio syndrome, a rare genetic disorder which stunts her growth and may threaten vital organs. There was no treatment um, before the clinical trial that she has since started. Lurie is just a godsend. I would just retract a little bit more to your left rather than to the right. From her office, Dr. Marlita Reynolds is watching a live surgery on her computer, something she couldn't do at the old hospital. I can follow the operation, I can give advice, or if necessary, I can come immediately to the operating room to assist. The technology we've invested in in this facility is new to our community, to our patient population, and in advancing pediatric medicine and science. Let's have the stealth. Down the hall, neurosurgeons are using a new technology called stealth, kind of a GPS for the brain that guides them through sensitive surgeries. We have a facility that allows us to do our work in a better, more efficient, excellent way. How are you? Did you get your pictures taken? Two-year-old Maggie Waldron is back at Lurie Children's for an MRI to see if her brain tumor has returned. horrible, you know, but this, you know, for as horrible as a thing that you're going through, it's a great place to be. Yuck. My hand's really bloody. Right, I'll just say we'll send to Daddy. Ready? Oh, he'll just be completely see. disgusted by me. <laughs> While Ava's blood is being analyzed in Lurie Children's Research Lab, the hospital's research pharmacy prepares the medicine for her clinical trial which is already showing promise. You used to have to use your scooter last year, didn't right. you? Right. To keep up with the other kids when you went down the hallway. Uh-huh. And now you don't have to. My name is Speedy. She's also grown uh, quite a bit, and of course this is something we hope for with the therapy. Clinical research is all about clinical effectiveness in making sure that the treatments that we use are the most effective way of improving the lives of children. New mom Angela Morehouse Brown crosses the bridge from Prentice Women's Hospital to Lurie Children's to see her baby Brooke, who is in the neonatal intensive care unit. It's it's nice being so close that I have access to her. Born yesterday, Brooke has spina bifida and an open lesion on her spinal cord, a challenging case. Neurosurgeon Robin Bowman has called several subspecialists to the OR. The urologists, the orthopedic surgeons, my nurses, it takes everyone at Children's to take care of this little baby. You know, people will frequently ask me, what am I proudest of? It's the talented group of leaders that yes. we've been able to recruit to this institution. We just hope and pray for the best, you know. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I don't know what he's going to tell us. Neurosurgeon Dr. Tord Alden has the results of Maggie's MRI. So, you know, everything went really well. We're actually finishing up right now. Meanwhile, for baby Brooke, now 36 hours old, one surgery is over, but more lie ahead. This is a very tough disease for a child to live with. Just getting her home, watching her grow. <laughs> It's amazing. At less than 36 hours old, she's had surgery and she's doing great. We're just hoping for good news from you. Looks good. Well, that's the best yeah. news. <laughs> Maggie's brain tumor has not returned. Her prognosis is good. We got the best Christmas present ever. But on the other hand, I celebrate quietly because the next family that's walking out might not have as wonderful news. Ava, Daddy loves you. <laughs> After another day of her clinical trial, Ava's ready to go home to Alabama. Hey, you ready to ride? I, I thank God every week that we are able to come here because other hospitals aren't doing this. Having moved to this wonderful facility, I can tell you that this is an end. It is just the beginning. Another week down, huh? Yep. Another week down. 
We're racing forward to deliver on the promise of what this building means. To have the access and the, the knowledge that's here is incredible. It's made a world of difference in Ava's life and our lives. All right, we'll be back next week. Our hearts are filled with thankfulness.